Hi everybody, this is Solomon Alexander, the Sportsmanship Guy, coming to you from Sportsmanship Headquarters here in beautiful, sunny downtown St. Louis. I had a whole stack of stuff I wanted to talk with you guys about today, and I changed my mind on it all. I was going to talk about Hulk Hogan and his racism, Colin Cowherd and his racism, Charles Haley and his racism. I was even going to squeeze in a mention of the CONCACAF Gold Cup semifinal game between Panama and Mexico that descended into nonsense. But I decided to throw all of that out for something much more impactful and something much more positive. St. Louis Rams special teams coordinator, if you haven't heard, um, uh, his name is John Fossil. John Fossil was squeezing in his last couple of days of vacation. Uh, the Rams start training camp later on this week. He was out on his boogie board, having a good time, family and friends and whatnot, and saw another surfer had fallen off of his board and was drowning. Uh, the way the story goes, uh, Coach Fossil uh, and a man named Jim Burton went out into the ocean and saved this man's life, saved him from drowning. Now, we've heard these kinds of stories before, you know, people saving others from drowning, but I, I really want to take this time to go in depth with this Coach Fossil story for several reasons. One is the surface part of it. He did a fantastic thing. He saved another man's life. He saved a man's life that he didn't know. He saved a man's life who didn't speak English uh, by all accounts. And to take it even further, Coach Fossil still doesn't know the man's name that he saved. That's important because all too often we take the skills we have and we sort of hoard them to ourselves. Now, I'm not in any way advocating people who can't swim, you should not jump in the ocean and try to save someone's life if you can't swim, because then there are two people in danger. But by this report, Coach Fossil is a pretty good swimmer. As a matter of fact, he's an excellent swimmer. So he took the skills he had to help someone else. Each and every one of us can do that. In the world of sports, we can do that. In the world of academia, we can do that. Just being everyday people, we can take the skills that we have, to help others, to help make others' lives better. It may be something heroic, it may be something that no one ever knows about, but it's awesome and it's an awesome example for kids. Because with all of the negative things you hear about athletes and coaches, and I mean, there was this big to do about a Buffalo Bills assistant coach who with his grown son allegedly assaulted some other kids or some nonsense like that. Coach Fossil deserves major kudos. He's gotten some press for it already. I'm sure he didn't necessarily want all of that, but he's an outstanding guy and, and, and definitely deserves to be recognized for what he's done. Um, somebody still has you know, their father or brother or friend because of him. Uh, thanks so much, Coach Fossil, and I'm so glad that he's the special teams coach for my team. Well, that's about all I have for right now. There'll be more of these video blogs later on down the line. If you'd like to not see me on a video and in person, please go to sportsmanship.org and you'll see how you can get the sportsmanship guy to come out and speak to your group through our sportsmanship delivered and musical moments programming. And we've got a bunch of Coach It Right clinics relative to soccer coming up and a whole lot of other sportsmanship stuff that you can get right there on sportsmanship.org. Thanks so much for joining me, and as always, be a good sport.